Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see about Loadrunner raw results exporter. If you want to export your Loadrunner results to JSON files or to uh, InfluxDB to see the real-time uh, performance metrics, now it is possible using this small utility. In Loadrunner 12.60, if you go to your uh, bin folder, so C program files 86 microfocus Loadrunner bin. In the bin folder, you can see LR raw results exporter.exe. So this utility, you can use it in the command prompt. And if you pass the arguments, then it will give you the output as JSON, or you can use Influx database. So to use this tool, open a command prompt and go to the folder where the load runner is located. So I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to change the directory and I'm going to invoke the tool LR raw export results uh, exporter.exe and I'm going to pass my source directory where I have placed my the results uh, folder basically LR uh, extension and I'm going to uh, export the results to my target directory which is uh, my c drive i have created a folder called uh, json results and i'm going to convert to json so these are the arguments you need to pass if you want to convert to a json format if you are going to convert into influx uh, you have to change it to two underscore influx just press enter so it will ask you to uh, whether you want to overwrite the uh, output directory because it is already uh, exists. So I am going to press Y and hit enter. So now we can see the file has been uh, exported. The raw results has been exported to JSON format and it will be located in the target directory. So now let us go to the target directory. So this is my folder, JSON results. So here you can see there are totally uh, five files. So I'm going to open in my favorite editor, Visual Studio Code. Okay, so here you can see uh, localhost underscore one dot text, which has the transaction details. So transaction details has everything, all the parameters, all the performance metrics basically. And offline metadata is blank and offline.text also blank and run info.text as the uh, the parameters which we have used in the uh, uh, load runner analysis sorry load runner controller scenario uh, start time end time time zone uh, start reason uh, stop reason uh, results file path etc on the version and the t underscore uh, uh, rep.text as the user info so you can see the timestamp of each user so this one you can parse it and then you can uh, create your own dashboard. Uh, you can uh, uh, put it in your CACD pipeline. Uh, so you can do a lot of stuff using JSON files. Also, if you want to see the real time, um, we can use InfluxDB, which I will be covering in my next video. That's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If not, please feel free to move to my next lecture. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.